point when they die. Those religious leaders are the same ones you blindly follow if you do not receive Jesus Christ. Now that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. Jesus Christ is God the Word manifest in the flesh. He's not a separate being from God. All your religions, they get kind of close to the nature of Jesus Christ. But they always add or diminish to who Jesus Christ was. Don't follow the religious people. They don't know where they're going when they die. Follow the Bible-believing Christian who believes what 1 John 5 says, how that you may know that you have eternal life. I know I have eternal life. I know where I'm going when I die. These men that are giving you the gospel, these people trying to give you the word of God, and you keep plugging your ears to the truth. Those same people, they know where they're going when they die. Their final authority, the word of God, tells them that. Does your final authority tell you that, Catholic? How about you, Hindus? You don't know where you're going when you die. Why would you follow the world when the world doesn't know where it's going? All these problems in the world are because of sin, not God. Sin. If you got sin, when things go wrong in this world, don't keep lying to yourself saying that you are good before God. You might be a good person before the people around you, but they're not God. Are you good before God? The answer is only if you have received the love of God. Just like any gift, you have to take it. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life to Jesus Christ our Lord. For all of sin to come short of the glory of God. Man, you've come short of the glory of God. Sir, you have too. Have you received the gift of God so that when you stand before him, you will have eternal life? Or will you send yourself into the lake of fire where God did not want you to go?